Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Frost Survival. Um, give me one second, I'm just gonna make sure my microphone is working correctly. Yeah, okay, we're good. Um, so, I'm back at the start, and there's a reason for that. Um, when my computer went crazy, uh, I lost the save files for, well, really all my games. Um, it hasn't affected any other ones because a little while ago, the cloud save feature for Fallout 4 started having issues, so I had to disable it to stop the game from crashing. Um, and that means that I don't have any of my Fallout saves, so I'm all the way back at the beginning. And this actually gives me an opportunity to try something different. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're back here at the start, and I've re-enabled fast travel. And I'm basically just going to uh, randomly fast travel myself to some spot on the map and see how long I can live for. So, let's uh, give it a go. I'm not going to bother fiddling with my character. I was debating randomizing my character at the start, but uh, I think I'm going to die a whole lot, and doing that would take some time, so... Let's see. So if we put the map here-ish, we've got a pretty good selection. Now, so close my eyes and wave my mouse around a bit and see if I end up somewhere. And there. Where the fuck is my... Oh. Okay, I fucked that up. Let's try again. There. Okay. Medford Memorial Hospital, eh? This may, this may kill me quite fast. No? Oh. That's disappointing. Can I... Can I fast travel anywhere? No? Hmm. Okay, I guess... Hmm. This is mod doesn't actually work, the one that uh, re-enabled fast travel. Oh well, guess we'll just start as normal then. Uh, this is the door that won't kill me instantly, if I remember correctly. I don't really need a silver locket. I would like the smiley hood, just in case I can't find another gas mask, and I guess I'll take the ragged leathers. And yeah, we can drop the tattered rags. There we go. There we go. sort of. Not, you know, particularly good ones. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's a lead pipe. Which probably does more damage than the knuckles. It does one more damage, and it weighs a bunch more, and attacks much slower. I don't know. I think it's about the same. But it weighs more, so I'm gonna stitch it. I'll, I'll use the knuckles for now. Go oh, up. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. Was that actual... Oh, cool. It's whiskey. I'll hang on to that then. That could be quite useful. Um, I'm not going to bother picking up junk just yet while we try and sort out what we're going to do. The way I went the last time I was here was not, you know, super efficient. I mean, it, it worked out in the end, but it wasn't terribly efficient. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find a better way out of here. I don't think any of these have anything in them. I keep, I keep, I don't know why, but I keep expecting those to lead to, like, different areas and start a loading screen when I already know that they don't, because I've been through this area a bunch. Um, not enough for me to remember which doors are locked and which aren't, unfortunately. Oops. Only opens with a key. Alright, so that one's locked. Keep 
my uh keep my brass knuckles handy. This one This one goes to that place with those two guys who attack you if you get too close to them and also Um What else is down there? There's that one locked door that I won't be able to open because I don't have an actual bobby pin. The other locked door that I can't open because I don't have the key. Huh. I don't know. And that way goes to the station with the bandits at it, yeah? So that's not much use to me. I don't think this, this whole area, I can't open any of these doors. Let's head back. I'll try the other way. Let's see, if we go back the other way, there's the one path that leads to the way I went out last time. Uh, there's the path that goes to the way I came back in here last time. And there's that path that goes to where those ghouls are. And I think the other way is a locked door again. They're mostly locked doors. It seems to be around all this place. going a little bit crazy there. Can I get back there? I don't think I can. There doesn't seem to be any way to get back there. Now this is, that's the place with all the ghouls. So let's uh, not go there. Honestly, I think what I tried to do that one time ages and ages ago when I, I got all the mines and like threw them you know what I can actually do, probably, is just throw the mines over the fence and onto the ghouls. Let's give that a try. I mean, the mines won't explode on me, so if I miss and they, like, fall back down onto me, then, you know, no big deal. I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to, you know, make sure not to step on a mine while I'm doing this. Get up on the, get up on the edge here so that I'm far away from the floor while I try and spot the mines. I do kind of have to wonder why there's that uh, red coat mannequin down here. Seems a little out of place, but whatever. Okay, there's a mine, there's a mine. Are there any others? No, I think that one. I think that's it. And then there's the one back there. Ooh. These are. Okay, they're lootable. They're just kind of weirdly positioned. Gold watch I don't need. Take that. And take that. Okay. Oh, fridge. Decorative fridge. Alright. Let's go and uh see if we can't just do equip those. See if I can't get one over the over the fence over there. I don't I don't usually use mines for things, so I'm not like, I don't really know how far I can throw them, is the issue. Because I don't find them all that useful, most for the most part. I mean, yeah, there's situations where they come in handy, but... Not really, not really for me. So this door is locked, and I have the key. I doubt any of the ghouls have the key, so... I'm gonna say I'm pretty safe to just stand here throwing mines. Yeah, that worked. That worked about as well as it probably should have. If I get up here. Oh, that one's that one's still alive, but looks like he's lost his leg, so I think we can take him. I 
to react once they've lost their legs. They just kind of sit there. Oh, hey, I got a level up. Cool. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's, uh... Get a bit more damage on our punches here. Just tell me one of you guys has bobby pin or something. Um, is this just a dead end that they just sealed some ghouls in? It is, isn't it? Well, that's, uh... That's handy, I guess. Okay, well, uh, let's go try the door at the other end, I suppose. I think this leads to the bandit station, if it unlocks it all, which I can't remember if it does. If I only had a bobby pin. I mean, it does unlock, but I can't unlock it, so... So much for that. Um, there's... Another door that leads to the bandit station, but I don't really want to... Actually, wait, I have landmines. I could totally screw up the bandits. Oh, I'm gonna go do that. Go back and save in a little bed over by the starting area, and I'll go and... See if I can't mess up the bandits' day. this door. Yeah. Can I? Oh! I see his dead body moved. Oh. That's good. Sleep. There we go. Now we're nice and saved. Commence operation throwing mines at things. Hello, not really friends. Seriously, screw those guys. They just literally just sit there and just attack you if you get close to them. Assholes. Uh, oh, I'm gonna miss my mining helmet. It was such a good item. Also, also all the bobby pins that I had. Those were nice. Really, really all of the stuff I was carrying around was, was pretty good. The backpack, the the nice clothes that I had, mining helmet, the guns. This stuff got a lot of what I think are Molotov cocktails, actually. Oh. Molotov cocktails and toxic cocktails. And some junk. This uh, mind trick doesn't work out in my favor. I'm basically boned because, if memory serves, at least one of the bandits has a gun, and I do not have a gun. Or, you know, body armor, a helmet, even. So let's, uh, let's just hope the mines work. Oh, also my sneak's gonna be really crap, isn't it? Oh, just all, all around not. Oh, oh right, I forgot about this. Is there anything in here? A stealth boy, and a Molotov cocktail, and a board that I don't really want. Yeah, no. I think I'll pass on that. I wish I could lean around corners, but you can't do that without a gun. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so there's one of them. Try and, uh, if I if I move any further out, I'm gonna be in the light. Can I? Oops. Can 
Can I peek around this ledge here? This is kind of a vending machine in the way, actually. Can I climb up here? Oh my god, I can. Can't really go anywhere from up there, but I got up there. Well, it's time to get some use out of those Molotov cocktails, eh? I'm not good with Molotov cocktails. Find him. Who's oh. I know you're here. Oh, you don't see anything. I, oh my god, she's alive. Come on. Oh god. Aha! That'll learn ya. My saving grace is all of these explosives that I've picked up. Oh god! Ah, damn it. Okay, throwing mines of the bandits did not work. 